Hey learners, welcome to Ahmed Coaching and I'm your teacher Dr. Anam. Today we will study about law of dominance. In the law of dominance, the dominance means that something is superior or something is powerful. And because of its power, the other things they are suppressed. The law of dominance was given by Mandel and it states that in a heterozygote, heterozygote means that they have two different alleles, for example, capital R and small r. So they are heterozygous. One trait will hide the presence of another trait. So in a heterozygote, one trait it will express while the another trait it will not express. We know that um, capital R shows for the round seeds while the small r it represents the wrinkled seeds. So, but if a plant is heterozygote, it means that only the dominant one, it will be expressed. So, uh, normally what we do, we write the dominant one with the capital letter and we write the recessive one with the small letter. So, it means that in a heterozygote, which are having capital R and small r, only the dominant one or round shaped seeds, they will be shown. While the another trait, which is the wrinkled shaped seed, they will not be expressed into the phenotype. So, the dominant alleles will be expressed exclusively for example here you can see we have round shaped seeds and we have wrinkled shaped seeds wrinkled shapes are uh, shown with smaller smaller it means they are recessive capital r capital r means they are dominant so the gamete formation it will take place the alleles they will segregate so in one gamete we will have capital r the other gamete will also have capital r here we have small r and we'll have small r and then the gametes they will fuse randomly during the fertilization and this capital R it will fuse with this small r and we will have this heterozygote. Similarly this r it will also fuse with this small r and we have this heterozygote. The second gamete it can also fuse with this small r we have this and this one can also fuse with this gamete and we have this capital R and small r as you can see that all these seeds they have capital R it means that all these seeds they are going to be round in shape it means that round is a dominant trait while you can't see any recessive trait until or unless you have small r and small r together to understand this we can see here we have one purple flower and one white flower the white flower is a recessive trait that is why it is shown with small r small r while the purple one is a dominant trait that is why it is shown with capital r capital r in the first generation we have this heterozygote and because purple color was dominant so we have all the purple colors and we can't find any white color but if we just cross two heterozygotes together like this so according to the Punnett scale, this is male gametes and this is female gametes. This capital R, it will fuse with this capital R and we are having the original genotype. Similarly, this capital R, it can fuse with the small one. So we have this heterozygote. Similarly, this gamete, it can fuse with this one and we have the heterozygote and this small r can also fuse with this small r and we have the original small r, small r phenotype. So we can see the purple one because it has two capital R, it should be purple. But here we have heterozygote, we also have small r, but as the purple color is dominant, so all this flower is purple. Similarly, this heterozygote is also purple. However, when two small r are present, it means there is no dominant allele here. So this plant is going to be white in color. So that was the law of dominance. I hope this lesson is clear to you. If, if you still have any question, you can ask me in the comment section. I will see you in the next video.